India is the second largest shareholder in the bank, so it has a very important role in helping to lead the direction of the institution. India is also the largest recipient of financing from the bank. We have more projects here in India than in ever, any other country right now. And so because India has such huge infrastructure needs, the AIB can also play a role in helping India to finance the infrastructure that it needs for its future. I'm told India has already got about $1.2 billion from the bank and another $1.9 is in the pipeline. Could you identify various infrastructure projects that are in the pipeline and where the bank could be contributing towards? So we've financed quite a number of projects in India already and there are more in the pipeline. They tend to be transport projects, so uh, we've already approved a metro project in Bangalore. We have uh, one of the Mumbai metro lines is in our pipeline for future uh, financing. We have energy projects that we finance, for example, infrastructure transmission uh, projects. We have more energy projects uh, in, the, in, the, in the pipeline. So probably energy, transport, cities, um, clean water, those are the kind of things that we'll be really involved in here in India in the coming years. As far as emerging markets are concerned, right now we stand in very challenging times. Uh, of course, the micro industry in India is doing reasonably well. But if I were to look at the macro economy as a whole, uh, we have high interest rates. Of course, uh, interest rates in the U.S. are also increasing. Add to that inflationary woes. And of course, uh, the rupee has been depreciating as we speak. Uh, in this slide, do you see a lot of uh, needs coming in from banks as well as far as financing for some of these infrastructure projects is concerned? Are they your clients as well, or is it only the government? government and maybe private industries. You're quite right. We can support banks and other private sector institutions who are driving forward infrastructure projects uh, in India and in other parts of, of Asia as well as governments. We can work in the private sector. One of the strengths of an international financial institution like the AIIB or the World Bank is that we have some capacity to help mobilize finance from other places, bring new money to the, to the, to the table. And because we're a AAA rated institution, also we can provide the financing at a reasonable price, which helps to get the infrastructure projects going. Uh, in June, we'll be holding the annual meeting of the AIIB here in Mumbai. Finance ministers from our 86 member countries will be gathering here. And the topic of the meeting is mobilizing finance for infrastructure asking the question, what can we do to bring more financing in? Because the money the AIB has, the money other international institutions have, is not enough to finance all the infrastructure needs. We need to do much better at crowding in more private sector money alongside the public money that's already there. So many banks, for instance, uh, State Bank of India, just to give you an example, they are the largest public lender in the country. And right now, we aren't seeing too much investment demand in the country. So while you say that you are lending to these banks to finance many of these projects, what is your experience? Uh, are these banks willing to borrow money, considering that they are sitting on some capital, which they're not being able to deploy, because we are seeing credit growth coming in at quarters low. So is this something that you are trying to test waters with? Well, we really only operate in the infrastructure space, which is you know, longer term lending, where the focus is really on, are the projects well justified? Are they economically sound? Can you raise the money for a long period of time? So perhaps we don't focus so much on the short term credit trends, but much more on the longer term needs. And in, in that space we see in India, firstly, a very high priority from the government to invest in infrastructure for obvious reasons to do with the, with the economy. We see uh, other private institutions coming in with money, and we see innovation in India too. For example, the National Infrastructure Investment Fund is an innovative idea from the, from the government here. So on infrastructure, we see very positive trends. On the rest of it, you'd be better placed to comment than me.